everybody. Here we are, all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for the Friday Night Sociable, conducted by Lum and Abner, whose everyday experiences are sent for you each evening, except Saturday and Sunday, by your own local Ford dealer. In my opinion, the new Ford V8 is the most economical car on the market, says Rankin Singley, grocer of Mangum, Oklahoma. We've been telling you what we believe about the new Ford V8. Now let us select this letter from the thousands received and tell you what this owner says. Mr. Singley writes, I own a Ford V8, and in my opinion, it is the most economical car on the market. On one trip, I drove 640 miles in 12 hours and 25 minutes. This included four stops and speed up to 87 miles an hour. And without apparently using any oil at all, the car averaged 21 miles per gallon of gasoline. Lamont Abner would be glad to have your opinion of the new Ford V8. As we look in on Pine Ridge tonight, we find the schoolhouse completely filled and the neighbors still coming for the big sociable. The ice cream served last Friday probably accounts for the unusually large attendance tonight. Lum is in charge of the entertainment as usual and is ringing the telephone so the three listeners out on the party line hook up may be sure of hearing the festivity. Take down your receiver and listen. Howdy, everybody, out on the party line. Mighty proud you're listening in. Wish you could be down here at the schoolhouse with us. We're having a big time, big crowd here. Recollect, me and Abner's are putting on these little get-ups every Friday night to sort of advertise our Ford business. All we ask is that you drive the new Ford V8 before you buy. I want to thank you all for the nice letters you've been sending in. Appreciate that. Now we get along with the social. That's the Pine Ridge String Band over there playing in that. All right, Cap, turn the boys loose. Let them go. Take up a lot of time with that hand flapping. Hey, say, Rob, look down there on the second row. There sits them Swiss shoulders. Well, I was wondering, goodness, I didn't know he was here. Let's make them get up here on the platform. Why, sure, they tried to slip in and not let us see them. Make them come up here. All right, boys, get on up here. We want to tune out of you. All right, go ahead, Doggies, um, you know, I, I used to sing just like them Swiss yodelers does when I was just a kid or a boy growing up. Oh, I mean, you never sung that way, never heard you yodel in my life. Well, I did when I was about 14 years old. My voice is changing. I sang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's the way they sing over in Switzerland. You take them foreign countries, they all sing different. You take down in Africa, they got queer customs. Now, yeah. down there, when them folks get mad, they take a stick and start beating on the ground with it. Start beating on the ground. Yeah, when they're right, man. Why, they don't only do that in Africa. As I was going in the county seat the other day, I seen some fellas on the golf course up there doing the same thing, just a whammy on the ground. 
Well, uh, around you know, these here folks here, these big stars down here, they just walk on the hind legs like us folks does. Right, right. The way they do. Big human beings. Right, <laughs> Now, let's see, uh, folks, uh, we we got a sort of surprise for you tonight. Uh, stopping over here at the Summer Resort Hotel is Larry Adler. Uh, he's the one that played in Flying Colors, and he's going to play and play on the mouth organ, that same number he plays in. He's going to play in Flying Red tonight, though. Yeah, but uh, he's going to play on the mouth organ. <laughs> he's what is known as the, uh, the jazz of the mouth organ. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Larry. George Hartsick out there a while ago, and he said if you want him to sing, you do it right away. He had to go back down. You know, he's Mike walking down here at the lumber company now. He's got to get back to work. Well, we just have George sing his song now. George, uh, if you're ready, go ahead. Uh, I I there. All right, folks, George Hartsick. Oh, 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 oh,
Hi, doggy, Tom. That was fine, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, sir, I've been feeling all day like this was Friday, Tom. Friday, Friday? Yeah. Friday is Friday. It is. Well, maybe, maybe that's the reason I've been feeling that way. <laughs> Well, right. folks, there's two men and a maid is here now from the county seat. I know we all enjoy hearing them. Sort of favorite around here now. Uh, all right, there's two men and a maid going to sing first. She's only a bird in a Stopping over here at the Summer Resort Hotel, and uh, I aspire to know that Miss Frances Langford. <laughs> Hi, Frances. <laughs> mighty, mighty proud to have uh, a 60 person is that in the community here in Pine Ridge. She's on her way out to California to make a new moving picture. Is she a picture actor? Oh, yeah, a regular moving picture actor. I don't think I want to touch her. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Langford has uh, kindly continued to help us out on our little get up tonight, and we're going to have the hotel orchestra play or something in for her. All right, Miss Langford. I know a bundle of humanity, charming as can be. Why I'm really driven to insanity when he speaks to me. He doesn't speak all of mercy and always so blase. But I try to overcome his vanity and learn the way. I'm young and healthy. And you've got charm. It's a bit of you to know the other end of your arm. I'm young and healthy, and so are you. When the moon is in the sky, that's what am I? If I can help you, I'll keep away. But that in my name, you are full of one of my own. I'm young and healthy. Oh, and I knew I'd be happy to be there. 